Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. Michael Hunter, the heavyweight contender, has confirmed to BoxingScene.com that he will be fighting Sergei Kuzman next in September. The date and venue are still to be confirmed, but it's uh, planned to be in Las Vegas on a Devin Haney undercard. That is according to Hunter, according to the article on Boxing Scene. This fight, it had been looking like it was going to be announced when uh, Varda accidentally revealed it online just a couple of days ago. I was actually going to be doing a video on this fight and my thoughts on it before I saw this BoxingScene.com article. So this is the Varda tweet. Uh, Varda welcomes Michael Hunter and Sergey Kuzman to our program as they prepare for their upcoming bout. And um, that was swiftly deleted by Varda, uh, presumably after they realised that that event involving Hunter and Kuzman had not been announced. So a bit of a facepalm there. But in terms of this fight, I actually really like this one. It is a crossroads fight of sorts for both guys. Hunter and Kuzman have been rising up within the division. Hunter's had a little bit more spotlight more recently because he sort of came out of the blue, beat Martin Bacoli, starched uh, Alexander Ustinov, and then more recently he's uh, fought uh, Fabio Maldonado, became the first person to stop the durable Brazilian and stopped him inside, what was it, a round or two. So this is uh, a fight for Hunter and also for Kuzman that they both need because to take the next step in the heavyweight division to get the the sort of fights that they want they have to have a name like each other on their resume and more broadly matchroom through matchroom usa and matchroom in the uk has been building up quite a bevy of heavyweights in their stable they needed to start actually having some of these guys fight each other as opposed to these guys fighting tune-ups and that sort of thing because you've had the likes of Michael Hunter, Sergei Kuzman, Gili Zhang, Alexander Usyk, Filip Hergovic, and a host of others who've signed with Matchroom in recent months. So it's good to see that they're going to start fighting each other because uh, we need to see some of these instead of these uh, low-level tune-ups, which for most part we've been getting. For Sergei Kuzman, this is a very important fight, um, as I mentioned. He's kind of had a bit of a false start to some extent since he's, you know, been working with Matchroom because you might recall there was that card um, that he was on where he fought David Price that was at Wembley about 18 months ago or a year ago, I should say, on the Pavetkin undercard. And that one ended after about four rounds. David Price retires hurt. He had an arm injury going into the fight. The fight had only really just started to get going and it was a pretty even fight. But before that as well, he'd had a fight with a bear man saw that ended was a no contest uh, ended early on cuts so he's had a couple of these opportunities where he's been stepping up and the fights haven't quite gone his way in terms of they've uh, ended in strange circumstances etc there was a good performance he had against Laurent Mitchell but it wasn't televised he knocked him down about four or five times en route to knocking him out the last fight it kind of took a bit of the air out of the Sergei Kuzman um, balloon when he fought Joey DeWecker it was a televised fight it was uh, on DAZN, the, the Turning Stone Resort Casino, earlier this year in March. And it wasn't a very good performance by Kuzman. But he did injure his, I believe it was his right hand. It was one of his hands. And um, he fought to a, a decision, majority decision over Deweco, But he didn't look great in doing so. And he actually, for many people, lost that fight. So I think uh, this fight coming up with Michael Hunter. I think Hunter, just in terms of recent form, some of what he's been doing, he is probably going to go in the favourite. But that doesn't mean that Sergei Kuzman is not in this fight. He's an undefeated sort of fringe contender at the moment. And he will be looking to advance his own course here because he wants to make his statement in the heavyweight division and getting Michael Hunter on his resume, a former cruiserweight, would, would be a big part of taking him to the next level. And for Hunter, because you may recall, he was in the sort of uh, Anthony Joshua sweepstakes for June 1st in New York. Uh, but ultimately, they didn't go with Hunter. And I think some of it was at least a perception problem for Hunter at least that's what I believe because he's uh, stepped up from cruiserweight he lost to Usyk when he was at cruiserweight he's had a number of fights now as I mentioned he got Bacoli and Ustin off those wins um, more latterly Fabio Maldonado but there was a, a bit of a problem that I think for perception wise he hadn't done enough he wasn't an established enough heavyweight and he needs a name like Kuzman as Kuzman needs um, Hunters just to kind of get to that next fight that 
next big fight because you can point to well this guy was a credible opponent he wasn't someone like Bacoli who was completely unproven or he wasn't someone like Ustinov who was completely shot you can point to the guy and go that guy is a solid fringe contender in the heavyweight division and you can actually add them to your resume to get that next fight because I think Hunter has missed that name that's going to help him get to that next level and so has Sergei Kuzmin to some extent but um, this is a really tough fight for both and a lot of people wouldn't have seen a lot of Sergei Kuzmin obviously there's uh, quite a bit of his amateur career that's online and notably he stopped Joe Joyce in the amateurs but since he's turned pro he hasn't exactly set the world on fire so this will be an opportunity for him to display not only his power because he is a good puncher but also his boxing skills he does have them and Sergei Kuzmin earlier in his pro career had actually been you know quite fleshy and then um, he didn't really look like he was sort of the part or in as good a shape as he could have been that could have utilized some of his boxing skills because he is actually a decent technician but for some of his more recent fights he has been in slightly better condition and I think against someone like Michael Hunter who is going to be tricky and awkward he will be utilizing movement and speed Sergey Kuzman is going to need to come in shape so yeah, I like this fight and I like that Matchroom is starting to pit some of their fringe heavyweight contenders against each other because it's about time. They need to be making some of these fights because I think uh, for most of us, we're getting sick of all these tune-ups, but some of these either unbeaten guys or guys like Hunter with just the one loss, we need to see these good fights because this is a good fight. And I think even though Hunter goes in probably a, a slight favorite, maybe 60-40 or 55-45, Sergei Kuzman does have a chance. He can punch and I'm sure he, he believes he can beat Hunter and probably stop him. Because I think over 12 rounds, Hunter would probably back himself to win this one on points. But I like the fight. How about you? Who do you think will win this one between Michael Hunter and Sergei Kuzman? Let me know. Drop a comment loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, boxing underscore squared. I'm out.